Minecraft UHC is a game mode which has been around for close to a decade. What makes it unique is that health doesn't naturally regenerate. Only specific items such as golden apples can do that. Limited to private hosting for a little while, eventually servers started organizing large free-for-all UHCs on their own. In 2014, Hypixel released their special take on it. Dozens of players with unique, craftable items are all given some time to prepare and then fight to the death. For years, Hypixel UHC was very popular, especially on YouTube. Unfortunately, the game mode became infected with cheaters, using such things as hacked clients and even glitches and exploits for their own fun. That's what I'm here to talk about today. Not just a hacker, no. My name is Sudi, and welcome as we explore the story behind Hypixel UHC's greatest exploiter, who managed to break the server many times over. If you're new around here, I make documentary style videos, usually about the pit. At the moment, my channel isn't monetized, and I don't know if that'll happen soon, but if you'd like to support me, there's a Patreon link down below. It's completely fine if you don't, but I would appreciate it if you subscribed. There's also the Epic Pitfall Discord. Now, let's get on with it. Oh, leather. Oh yeah. Let's make a GM. What? You died? I shot him once and I died. Okay, <laughs> this is this is like I it, this must be AG or like King Hawker car or something. I won't hit him. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> IMD AG is one of Hypixel UHC's most notorious players. For four years, he roamed the game mode, becoming close friends with such legends as Water and a Melon, Grove LXD, and Terra Combo. AG joined Hypixel in 2012 because of Quakecraft, but joined the ultra hardcore community two years later. After playing for a while, he became friends with Water and a Melon. Many would argue that Water was the game mode's best player of all time. During that period, Water had swapped from the Planet Minecraft server and was looking for a third teammate. In this meta of UHC, whoever could get in and out of the nether first would win the game. Potions were insanely overpowered, and it didn't take much skill to win with them. Despite the fact that AG wasn't the best, Water and their other friend Zorg could still win consistently. After playing the game legit for two years, one day AG got an idea. While on his way home, he fantasized about how cool it would be to find a way to kill people in a single hit. Originally, his plan was to find a way to enchant a Tarnhelm to Sharpness 1000, but that fell through. Later on, AG downloaded a hacked client which was super buggy. Combine this with Hypixel's custom craft of Deuce Ex Machina, which normally gives 10 seconds of invincibility. Let's say he was super strong. Terra Combo tried to kill AG and simply could not do it. The reason for this is because of the way Minecraft counts potion ticks. Something in the client made Hypixel think that the potion wasn't running out, and so his invincibility effect lasted eternally. AG used this to fight bee hoppers in conjunction with some melee hacks, regarding which Water told me his aura was worse than vanilla clicking. In December of 2016, AG was permanently banned for exploiting, but this was only the beginning. Now, let me take a moment to tell you the way in which Minecraft stores items. I am by no means an expert in this field, but hopefully this isn't complete misinformation. When holding an item and then tossing one, the item count is reduced by one. The item count is also reduced by one when zero items are being held. Yeah, kinda whack. These zero items can be made by taking an item out of a chest the moment it blows up, or with commands or whatever. The thing about zeros is that they can overflow. All that is to say, getting a zero item in UHC or another game mode is incalculably valuable. A couple of months into the new year, a new phenomenon emerged in Hypixel UHC, once again surrounding a customly crafted potion. This time, it was Flask of Icker. Flask is a potion of harming that deals 12 parts of true damage on a direct hit. True damage hits through armor, which makes it especially OP against people who normally wouldn't be easily killed. Anyway, let's take a look at the glitch. Yeah, I do it, do it. Well, okay. Yeah, I, ca I can't. Yeah, look at this. Yep. <laughs> yep, he's getting banned. 
Okay, yeah. Since AG was able to get a zero item flask of Ikor, he could spam it forever. This glitch is relatively well known, so of course Hypixel had the TNT method patched. It's actually possible to get a zero if two players take the item out of a chest with impeccable timing. This is super difficult, so it's much easier to cheat for it. AG and his friends had a client to create the zeros, but Hypixel has some plugins to prevent abuse. Moving around zeros or negative items will delete them, and throwing them out won't do anything either. This is not the case with projectiles, as those can be tossed out in a different way. Eggs, snowballs, ender pearls, splash potions, that's why flask worked. In association with Just Butter and Just Better, AG went on to create the zeros in dispensers, but instead of flask, he used XP pots. With just a tiny bit of extra, they created some of the best gear possible with level 30 enchanting and such. I love how Govile was used to cover up the infinite ender pearls. On top of that, the best strategy in the history of Minecraft may have been invented. After this, the zero item method got patched, so that's kind of a rip. Around the same time, a whole bunch of drama occurred with an admin. Many of AG's friends, including Water in a Melon, OK Jewels, Terra Combo, and Zorg PvP, were banned for 30 days by Plank just for associating with AG. Zorg PvP, being really mad about this, wrote a whack ass email to Plank that was almost blackmailing him, but kinda not really. So I'm just gonna like read this off to you. Uh, this is trade, not blackmail. Dot 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 dot. We want to trade our exploit. We tried it today and it works to an extent and is very usable. I got three things you can pick from and we will exchange the exploit for one of these. Everyone unbanned, only on their main accounts. Water to Melon, I am the AG, OK Jewels, and Terra Combo. Thank you for your time and being understanding. Your friend Zork. This got everyone's bans extended from 30 days to permanent. And they were also stat wiped. Everyone, included Terra Combo, who never boosted with AG or anything. AG later played a couple of games with Just Better and Just Butter, who also got banned in white. Another guy, Poto XD, who had also been permed, told Plank that he was no longer friends with AG and would no longer associate with him. Plank immediately unbanned Poto. This situation also resulted in some of the only instances of DU and CBU bans in Hypixel history. Those are banned classifications, which stand for don't unban or cannot be unbanned. There was a third unique ban, which is IYNSYSDS. Hmm. Checking out on the forums, this one stands for if you're not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Like I said earlier, Hypixel has plugins to prevent zeros from becoming real things. However, they were still able to be used in the crafting grid. Zero gold or diamond blocks can be turned into nine gold or nine diamonds. This process can be repeated over and over. So AG, Zorg, and Water set out on a challenge. They decided to try go for the highest KDR in the history of UHC. Of course, using the duplication glitch helped in that matter, but it wasn't that easy. Avoiding getting banned for boosting was a part of that, but also just dealing with beehoppers. Hypixel UHC was, and still is, just as infected with beehoppers as the pit. Moderators and admins have never done much regarding those types of cheaters. The squad decided that they wouldn't use any combat hacks, no aura, aimbot, KB modifiers, or anything. They did use x-ray and tracers, but come on, who doesn't these days? Zork told me that the initial strategy was to go for the best gear possible, but they realized that enchanted diamond armor breaks much faster than unenchanted. After many close calls, they were eventually banned, but not before winning every single game and getting upwards of 150 KDR. The only deaths occurred from them getting ghosted. Around the same time, the boys went around trying to build a diamond skybase. Despite having a duplication glitch, it was actually more difficult than one would think. The first time they tried it, they only managed to create about 300 diamonds and no one even saw the skybase. After refining the strategy, a couple months later, AG, Water, and Zorg got enough diamond blocks to gear up more than 130 people. This ended with their bans, but it was most definitely worth it. 
When we hack on people and destroy them, they say what? They're like, what are you doing? How do you have this KDR? When we do this, people are literally just like, what? <laughs> Is enough to give 132 people? <laughs> Full diamond plus sword. Full diamond for the entire server in 15 minutes. <laughs> Mining the entire server. We literally have enough diamonds for full time for the entire server. <laughs> and we did it all in 15 minutes. In May of the same year, a high star player named Grubby found a glitch to kick people from the game if they opened up a written book. Look, how to do it by Chiseled Cow. You ready? So hold up, get out of that. Jules, Jules, read that book, read that book. <laughs> Nicknamed Death Note, this exploit was discovered when Hypixel added compatibility for a newer Minecraft version. In that update, a change was made to the way written books stored their text. In UHC though, trying to equate the new change wasn't possible, so opening it would instantly kick you. Grubby kept the glitch secretive and only told his friend King Hakaka. A couple of months later, another exploit was found. Some hackers figured out that Watchdog didn't detect any player actions in the first 5 seconds of joining an instance. These hackers would go to the lobby, rejoin their UHC, and have 5 seconds to use Teleport Aura or any other game breaking cheat. This was patched by preventing player movement within 5 seconds of rejoining a game with the message Sinking World. So that means by rejoining, you can't move for 5 seconds. In combination with the Death Note exploit, this was absolutely busted. Grubby later told AG how the exploit worked, and he and King went along and started abusing it heavily. It soon got patched, but not before AG made a video which now has over 20,000 views. I believe that trying to place the death note into a chest also caused the kick, which is a fact that this unfortunate individual couldn't quite figure out. This same month, Hypixel would face the most demented exploit in its entire history. Somebody, and then I click done, and what the fuck? Before we get into that though, let's talk about some other shenanigans. On Hypixel, custom crafts can only be made a certain number of times per game. AG and his boys discovered that using zeros for them allowed for these crafts to be created an infinite number of times. Look in chat here zero out of three created. Thus, they attack the server with an infinite amount of Pandora's boxes, which are like miniature loot crates, as well as Fenrir's. At this point in time, the zero item exploit had been patched six times over the course of eight months. Initially, it was just minecart chest, then single chest, then furnaces and brewing stands, then double chests, then forges, and finally hoppers and dispensers. Yeah, following the patching of the zero item exploits, Hypixel changed some features to add player corpses in order to prevent border abuse. At the time, tons of people who were salty about losing fights would run into the border so their killer couldn't get their stuff. In order to prevent this, a change was added so the loot of players who die in the border would go inside the legal map. What the admins didn't take into account though was the fact that the loot dropped normally as well and could be pretty easily retrieved. With enough friends, this meant tons of items could once again be duplicated. Using this strategy, Zorg, Water, and AG got a stack of Notch Apples several games in a row. They actually managed to lose one of the games because of the amazing state that Hypixel is in, but whatever. Oh, no, 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 he's turning off! Oh, no! Take off his boots. Oh, he's turning on the jets! He turned on the jets! He turned on the jets! Uh, don't die, Ag. I'm fine. Don't die. I'm not gonna die. Now it's time to talk about an epic gamer glitch. Uh, gaming cookie? Level 15 or level- What? Jesus. What? what was that? I don't know what happened. Banana Go get my banana loot? Banana. What? <laughs> what? Is 
Here, give me your book. Give me your book. We're not, we're not on high pixel rod, so we're in the credits or work. Wait, should I kill your own Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lagging! No, you retard! On October 27th, 2012, a post was made to the AdminCraft subreddit. The post detailed a glitch involving written books. Mojang patched the exploit in 1.4, but several years later it re-emerged. The data of written books could be changed, and the server would just accept that as fact. One of the people who rediscovered this glitch was a Polish player named Snix. He created a client for 1.7.10 servers to make the god books, and AG and his friend Zorg got into contact with him. So, all it took to get one of these books was an ink sack, a couple sugar cane, and a feather. After that, you'd have access to Sharpness 32,000, which hits so hard that Prop 4 Diamond Armor instantly shatters. Not only that, but Thorns 32k means that anyone who hits you dies instantly, and their armor breaks as well. With looting and fortune, it isn't difficult to accidentally crash the server. Using one of the first OP bunny hop clients, Livinator set a monumental kill record, 44 team kills. AG, Zorg, and Water set out to obliterate that. The exploit was patched, but not before these guys achieved 64 team kills, or 3 in 5 potential victims. This same godbook exploit worked on other servers as well, including various reddit UHCs and even 2b2t. I highly recommend you guys check out AG's content, his channel is linked in the description. Also, a huge thank you to he and his friends for helping me out with the information here. These types of YouTubers are few and far between nowadays. Perhaps there are a few in Skyblock, but otherwise not really. Now, I would very much be down to cover more exploiters, exploits, and really anything you might find interesting. Shoot me a DM on Discord if you have any ideas. Now, that was the history of Hypixel's most prominent exploiter. If you enjoyed this non-pit content, drop a like and maybe a comment. Don't forget to avoid many clune, and as always, thanks for watching. There's no way! There's no way! Please don't be bad on Hypixel, please! <laughs> Oh, I want to pick my kit. I want to pick my kit. What, what client is this anyway? I don't even know what client this is. I don't even know. <laughs>